Something I get asked a lot about on stream is how the damage boosts interact with each other and how boosts work in general in Adventure Quest Worlds, so let's get into it. Alright, so we're here in Photoshop. I thought this would be a better visual representation than just using in-game uh, for this. So I put the percentages on every item and I got a few items here for examples. This should work well, hopefully. So, uh, the way damage boosts work, you equip a weapon, like NSOD, onto your character. Now, you have 51% more damage to everything in the game. Now, let's say you equip Head of the Legion Beast afterwards. That will make it so you're doing 40% more damage to humans, undead, 30 to dragons, as well as the 50%. So this is on top of the 51% you already have equipped on your character. So these two work together because they are two specific enemy types and not to everything. Everything is one category. These are each their own categories. So now let's say I unequip this and maybe I wanted to equip AFDL onto my character. The 51% from the weapon, the NSOD, and the AFDL armor do not add together. The last one that was equipped would be your only damage boost on your character. So you'd only be getting 35%. It would completely cancel this out. It would be like you didn't even have NSOD equipped at all. Well, other than like the enhancement you have on the weapon, of course, like the base stats, but you wouldn't be getting the damage percentage from it. Now, if you just had AFDL and let's say you put on a Cape of Awe. Now, the Cape of Awe has 25% to the gold XP class points and rep. So if you had that on your character and no F AFDL on, and then you put on Head of the Legion Beast. Now, these 30% would cancel out the 25%. These do not add together. You do not get the percentages together with this. They cancel each other out because they are the same. 30% 30, 30 will cancel it out. Now, let's say you took off the Cape of Awe and then you put it back on while still having this equipped the whole time. Then now you would only have 25% because it's the last equipped item and you wouldn't have 30%. You would still have the damage boost from the human, undead, and dragon, but you would not have the 30% for the gold class points and all that. So hopefully that makes sense. Now what happens if you're wearing Head Legion Beast and you equip an SOD, then you equip a pet like this. So this pet gives you 30% to dragons, human, undead, chaos, and elemental. So you'd be getting 30% more for, to elemental, which nothing else affects. Uh, but for undead, dragons, and humans, uh, your 40% would drop to 30%. Your 30% from dragons would stay the same, of course, because it's the same. Here, but this would cancel out the 40% for humans undead. So you would have to re take this off and then put it back on if you wanted to get the 40% damage boost from that again uh, because you would not be getting that. And of course, these two items work together with this. Hopefully this all makes sense and hopefully you have a better understanding of how damage boosts work in Adventure Quest Worlds. Now, if you have any more questions on this, leave one in the comments and I'm sure myself or someone else that's being helpful in the comment section will help you out. So leave a like if you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.